Oh no, Tim's computer's doing that thing again. Uh, I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> I think I broke it in a very awesome way though. Yeah. We're at Sam's, as always. Sorry, hey guys, I'm home. Sorry for the backlighting. It's not my fault, it's the <laughs> sun. Uh, but we were at the, we had to mail something at the post office and there was a guy with these three huge boxes and he just puts them up there. They're all taped up and everything. And then they started making noise and moving around. He was shipping animals. And the people came out and they're like, should, should those have like air holes in them? And he just left them there. He's like, no, bye. Is that weird, right? We just left Sam's. What's my favorite part about going to Sam's, you ask? Uh, the free samples. That's my favorite part. What's your favorite part? I don't like going to Sam's. I love free food. I only eat chicken. And I've already said this, that when Jen gets pregnant, I'll start eating all meats. Everything at Sam's is always like, they're like, would you like to try this bacon sandwich? And I'm like, no, I don't want the bacon sandwich. The bacon sandwich, I missed out on it because it wasn't done by the time that we left. She's like, it'll be five minutes. I'll have it ready in five minutes. And then she didn't actually make it. So now I'm sad. For five I'm so sad that I missed the sample of bacon sandwich. Darn it. But they did have a sausage wrapped in a pancake and they did have um, a ravioli and then they had a chicken Alfredo and then they had something else. What was it? Oh, chocolate covered strawberry. That's like amazing. Those were the best samples I've had in my entire life. To be honest about the chocolate covered strawberries, they weren't as good as I thought they were going to be. I thought it was delicious. I'm not picky. I'll eat whatever. Oh. Oh no, it all fell. We're returning all of the oil changing stuff because we had a major fail because whoever put the drain plug into the car, the last time I got my oil changed, they used an impact wrench and so we couldn't get it off. Like I thought I was just being wimpy, but it, it was more or less just that it was on there really, really, really tight. So we couldn't get it done. I know you guys saw that in the video from yesterday, but. Now we're gonna make somebody else do it. Yeah, so now we really are gonna pay somebody else to do it. They ask, who tried to take your oil plug off? We're gonna go, I don't know, you guys are the last ones that did it. <laughs> yeah, we win. I just finished editing yesterday's video. It's crazy, like I'm angry now because of the, the darn car again. I'm like, uh, let me just edit this video and then all of a sudden anger from the stupid drain plug again. Man, driving me crazy. I actually meant to tell you guys this, while we were at Sam's, we got chicken breast, because I eat chicken breast, that's like all I ever eat. But we always get Sam's brand, which is like Members Mark, and it's ridiculously cheap. It was like $11 for five pounds or something. Let me look, hold on. It was $11 for 5.8 pounds. So that's, uh, you know, getting pretty close to around $2 a pound, which is ridiculously cheap. The good news is uh, we got it. The guy was like, hey, do you want to take some out of the freshest ones we've got? Just got the shipment in out of the box. You know what the box said on the outside of it? Tyson. So that's, it's not really Members Mark brand chicken. It's just Tyson that they put a different packaging on. I don't know why, like they get a better deal on it if they have their packaging on it. I don't get it. Because it's just Tyson chicken repackaged, why wouldn't the Tyson chicken be that price? Why is the Tyson chicken more? I was racking my brain tonight trying to figure out what to do with you guys and watching all these YouTube videos like, oh, what kind of crazy science experiment or bar trick or whatever can I do with you guys? And then I thought to myself, oh, I know of one that we used to do as, as kids that I could show you guys. That's pretty easy. It's kind of like a science experiment. It's kind of like a bar trick. It's kind of both. I didn't find that on the internet, so I'm hoping that maybe not too many people know about it and maybe I can show you guys something new. You ready? What we're gonna try to do, and I have always had trouble doing this trick, but I have done it before and hopefully it won't, I won't look like a fool in front of you guys. We're gonna take, this is one of those butter beer bottles. It's just any glass bottle that you can find. We're gonna make a clean break and take the whole bottom off of it using air pressure and water pressure combined. Uh, Amaze your friends. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bottle after you've drank your butter beer or what is this stuff called? Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. And then it won't work with a carbonated drink. We've tried it, doesn't work. You have to use water. Take it and we fill it up with water, of course, till it's just almost at the top. Like I'm here, just the neck. 
I'm gonna fill it up just a little bit more. All right? So there's very little air in there. And then we take it and we give it a really hard hit with the palm of your hand so that you make a nice tight seal on the top of the bottle. And you give it a nice hard whack and hopefully this should create a whole bunch of pressure inside of here and blow the whole bottom of the bottle out. You guys ready to give it a try? Oof, that hurts. Let's try it with a little bit less water. Goodness gracious. I forgot how much this actually hurts. Normally that would make a clean break. This one did not. Now there's glass everywhere. But for the most part, that was pretty clean. Yeah. Oh, but it shattered all up the side. Oh wow. shoot, oh no. This may be a cheaper bottle because it did that. And my hand hurts really bad right now. So don't try that at home because it hurts a lot. <laughs> and glass goes everywhere apparently. That was a terrible idea. Why did I think that that was a good idea? Back when I was younger, I was like, heck yeah, we break bottles, science. <laughs> no, bottles and glass everywhere. And I don't know if this is all of the pieces or not. I'm thinking it might be. I'm hoping it is. If not, uh, we might cut our feet later on tonight. I just wanted to show you guys. You see this right there? That's where I hit it. That's a bruise already, but look. That's, you can see the outline of the, of the, the bottle top right there. Do you see it? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the bruise that's there. I'm just like bringing it to the surface. Dang. But yeah. yeah. Don't try this at home. All right, sit back. Crazy story coming your way. Jen was filming me eating a yogurt and she saw out of the corner of her eye, we have a sliding glass window right here, right? And if you're standing here and there's a lot of light from when we were filming, shining, maybe she'll see a reflection of herself in the window or something. You know, maybe the dog moves. There's some movements that she sees out of the corner of her eye. It was a ghost. It was a ghost. So she saw a ghost and she said, oh, something, I thought I saw something scary. It was just somebody, or just a reflection in the sliding glass door. And then I said, it came from within the house. And then she said, the phone call came from within the house. And I said, that's the most ridiculous thing. How does the phone call back in the nineties, how does a phone call come from within the house? There's only one phone line. Then she explained to me this crazy trick. <laughs> it's not really that crazy. Um, when huh? I was a little- Crazy bar trick. <laughs> when I was uh, younger, I used to call, if you call your telephone number, like your landline, and then you hang up, <clears throat> it still rings. So then you pick up and then whoever else picks up and then you can prank them like from in your house. It's a thing. Do you think that uh, scary people that were like robbing houses back in the 90s that were like scream, wearing a mask, calling from inside the house, do you think they're like, I'm gonna prank these guys? <laughs> no, I, I was doing it to scare my sister. Did you scare her? I can't remember, probably, because she was like eight. Yeah. Jen's little sister is like a, a, a pretty good deal younger than her. How, she's, like she's like 10, 10 years. years younger than me, yeah. So when Jen was 20, her <laughs> sister was 10. And I'm like, ha ha, got you, noob. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes my night watching chiptune videos on YouTube. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.